Well, good afternoon. Um, you know, I, and I, was, I cherish the times that I get to spend with this gentleman beside me because, you know, we set out on a, on a mission four years ago. He paired me with this lovely person behind me to my left, and he said, we are going to change tourism in West Virginia. We are going to do what needs to be done to make sure the people know about the story. And we set out on a journey, uh, and that journey involved uh, $100 million worth of renovations to the West Virginia pa State Park System. They told us they didn't think it could be done. And as I told somebody yesterday, if you get this guy beside me on something, he'll make sure that it gets done. So we wanted to invite you all out here today to talk to you a little bit about the, those bomb projects and things that we'll be doing here in Canal State Forest. Um, so with that, I would like to to introduce the guy that's uh, responsible for all of it and uh, the, the guy that makes it all happen, the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Jim Justice. Okay, thank you all for coming. And, uh, you know, there was, I, I mean, honestly, you know, there was lots of people that had a lot of questions there. Uh, you know, Rebecca walked up and said that, that uh, Eric Nelson's wife, Pam, is it, Pam, it, yes, Pam, is that correct, okay, is here, and, uh, and I know Eric's running for Senate and everything, and he's a good guy and everything, and I just uh, think the world of him. So, anyway, thank you for coming. But uh, the, the other thing I, I'd, I'd like to say is just this, is... Uh, if you just think about it and you just step back and look around, how beautiful, I mean, honest to Pete, we live in paradise, do we not? I mean, we really do. And the whole world, you know, is beginning to find that out. Now, with all of that, you know, I've said over and over and over about a frog in a pond and, you know, and said, and people get tired of hearing me say it, but it's true. You know, a guy that I worked with and died very suddenly, and my, my son's best friend, you know, his name's Tom Floyd, and he used to always say, you know, any frog that's not proud of his own pond isn't much of a frog. Well, I've said it so many times about us. And so along the way, I happened to find two people that were real superstars, and that's Chelsea and Steve, and they have done unbelievable work. They really have. And all of a sudden, before you know it, just we turn around two or three times and then our entire state is exploding tourism-wise. Absolutely, it is, it is on fire what's going on. And it can't be any better. And so for Chelsea Ruby and Steve McDaniel, they have done an incredible job. Y'all give them a round of applause, please, because it is absolutely unbelievable what's happening. So I... I, I very sincerely thank you both, but but now just think about this. You know, Steve just told me this, but in the works, and and this has been in the works, I think, for, you see with me, I'm the most impatient guy that ever breathes, and I try to be respectful and everything else, but I want something done. I want it done now. I mean, that's all there is to it. I just can't stand it when it just drags along. You know, and government has a real way of dragging along. Well, it that drives me nuts. But evidently, Davis Creek here has been dragging along, you know, about, and maybe it's good. I mean, I'm not throwing off on it. But maybe it's good from the standpoint that, it, uh, you know, it, 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 take, it takes time to get through our DEP and to get through our DNR and all that. But we've had improvements in the works, I think it was a million five hundred sixty-one thousand dollars that we're going to spend on the creek and upgrade the creek to where we can use the creek all the time, and and you know and have a great fishing experience and beauty and all that with the creek, you know, to be able to use it. Other than I guess just in the in the spring, is that right? When when the creek would have 
tons and tons of water in it, and we'd be able to stock it. So now, now we've got these monster fish that we're able to stock in different places, but we couldn't really put them in the creek, you know, because the creek, the water in the creek's not very high, and the water in the pond, you know, the pond's only a couple feet deep, and we were, we'd be worried that the fish would almost die immediately. So we've been, we've been a year trying to get this done. Now, I'm, you know, I was with Austin just a little while ago, Austin Caperton with the DEP, but I, now, now that I know this, now what I'm going to do is just this. Now I'm going to lay my touch on it, and I'm going to say to Steve, and I'm going to say to Austin, absolutely, let's get this done right now because it needs done so badly, and it'll add to this beautiful, beautiful park, and it'll just make a terrific, terrific amenity or, or goodness to this park beyond belief. So we're going to do that, and we're going to do that soon. Now, in my soon, the, uh, here's how I define soon. My soon is today. We either do it today or as far as I can possibly see is 10 months. 10 months. That's as far as I can ever see. Because you see, I believe that we ought to be able to absolutely almost change the world in 10 months. So with that, we're going to get it done, and we're going to get it done in way less than 10 months. Right, Steve? Yes, sir. Okay, how about that? Now, listen to this. Today, you know, in addition to that, today, we're announcing with our superintendent, Chris Bartley. Where's Chris? Hey, Chris, how you doing? Okay, we're announcing major upgrades to this park like we've done in park after park across our state. And they're going to, they're going to include a million dollars of improvements to our forest. They're going to, we're going to complete, uh, you know, I guess our new forest office, conference room, gift shop, and ADA playground. We're going to have projects that are underway in the state forest here. There are going to be a, an office complex with a nature center and a CCC museum. We're going to have uh, campsite electric upgrades. We're going to have updated sign, uh, trail signage that's going to be you know, redone and a renovation to our campground bathroom facilities and additional upgrades throughout the forest to improve the visitor experience. Listen to, let me just, let me just say this. You know, as we, we have spent now in excess of $100 million on our parks in West Virginia, and, and Chelsea will tell you that we have now, I think, $4.6 billion of tourism dollars that are, that are spent within our state every year. Every time we spend a dollar, on absolutely us that brings tourism to West Virginia instantly, that quick. We bring a multiplier of six to 14 times right to us right now. You know, West Virginia, not only have we suffered through this terrible pandemic and we're continuing to go through it like many places, but really West Virginia is a real place that people want to be. So let's just do this. Let's just continue. And I feel like uh, Mike Pence with the fly on his head. I've got the same color hair, but, I, but I've got a little ladybug here. And I'm going to turn her loose now. Okay, little ladybug, you just go. So, so anyway, you may wonder, well, how did he know that that was a ladybug? Well, let me tell you this, and then I'll be quiet. You don't know anybody that's been in the woods or been on the streams more than I. There was a time in my life that I had brown hair and I was skinny and I could run through these mountains. You know, even now that I'm broke up and everything and a little older with white hair and surely a whole lot heavier, I still make time to be out here more than you can imagine because it, it calms and, and helps our soul. It is a part of us, a fabric of us that I love beyond belief. We just had just the other day, in fact, yesterday, we stocked some fish and we did, a, did this at Pipes Inn State Park. And, uh, and, and I was able to be with these two. And, and, and there, you know, the, we, we said this, that we, 
we in this COVID deal, we right in the middle of our trout uh, our trout season. Prim, uh, you know, we don't, I know we don't have a season, but really right in the middle of of our major stocking period in May, we let everybody go and fish for free in West Virginia, and then we did it again in June. And Steve and Chelsea were both really, really concerned that it was going to harpoon our dollars coming in on, on our license fees. And it took a million dollars out of our deal. But by the time we got to the end with all the people that were enjoying, new people that were enjoying fishing within our state, our license fees are now $75,000 ahead, even with the million dollar hit. So over and over and over, we're seeing the exact same thing the exact same instant replay over and over. And it's just this. If you'll just show and give our people and the people of this country and the people of this world an invitation to West Virginia, it just grows and grows and becomes infectious and not in a bad way like this COVID, but in a great way. And it shows the world just what the diamond is in the rough that they missed. So today, I congratulate all that we're doing here it's just going to be better and better and better. And this is right in our back door of our capital. So I can never, never say enough about how excited I am to be a part of it. And not only that, about how excited I am about coming up here and fishing in Davis Creek real soon. Real soon. So anyway, thank you all so much. But you all go ahead now. Thank you, Governor. And just to elaborate a little bit on some of the... Um, projects that, that the governor spoke of. You know, Canal State Forest is over 9,000 acres, and it's uh, in one of our most populated counties in West Virginia. And although our, all of our parks are visited widely by West Virginia residents, I would say Canal State Forest is one of our most visited parks. And most of those people that visit this park, or this state forest, are from probably a two or three county area. As a matter of fact, it's probably the most visited uh, state forest and park in West Virginia by West Virginia residents. And when we got here, is like we found like, like what we did in so many other parks, years and years of deferred maintenance. So we went to work uh, cataloging those things, and I want to thank uh, John Hughes of the Canal State Forest Foundation. Uh, they have been an integral part of, of working with us. i like to thank the workplace uh, work uh, with the uh, State of West Virginia Secondary Schools. They've come out and helped us, Governor, with the, with the bathhouses. But when it's all done, we're going to return Canal State Forest to that wonderful place that it was in the 1970s when, when, when it was open. So uh, because we've been doing a lot of these things, and I will tell you, when he drove up, the first thing he said is, where are you putting the fish? And I had to tell him about what we were doing. So he's right. When, when he says it's taking too long, it's, he, it, I, we will get it done. But all of these uh, investments have led to a, a wonderful increase in visitation, not only to this park, but to all of them. And uh, I'm going to invite somebody up here that can talk a little bit more about that and tell you just a little bit more about how successful we've been. And that's Chelsea Ruby from the Division of Tourism. Chelsea. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon. I love coming to all the parks, but this one holds a special place in my heart. I live not too far from here. Um, my kids and I come out here and my husband on the weekends pretty frequently. So I love getting out here and, and being here. Um, this, like Steve said, one of the things that's so great about this park is it's a community park. We have so many people who live in the area. As I see you guys nodding your heads, I'm betting you're living nearby. Um, and we have people from counties. And one thing that has happened this year that has just been spectacular is we have seen West Virginians getting out in, in huge numbers, more than ever before with COVID and exploring their own backyard. So the governor did two things that really drove that. First, we did the fishing initiative that we talked about, and the other one was the lodging discount. And like he said, both of these discounts made us a little nervous because we said, oh, you know, we're spending all this money advertising. What if, what if we don't have as many people come? Our revenues are down. And the exact opposite thing happened. What happened was we got more people to get out and enjoy the outdoors. We got more people to explore their parks than ever before. So it has been a wonderful summer of having just more people outside enjoying. So just to give some context, he mentioned this is the most visited park. And I asked the superintendent right before this, how many people have been here this year? Governor, you won't believe this number. Year to date, we have had 241,380 cars, not people, cars to this park here. So if you multiply that out, it's two to three people per car. That is an incredible 
amount of people getting out here and enjoying the state facility. So, you know, at the end of the day, we look at this, we're getting more West Virginians out, but we're also getting more people to come to West Virginia. numbers, one of the statistics that I like the most is our return visitation rate. 87% of people who come to West Virginia come back. So they come to our state, they fall in love with it, and they keep coming back and back. So this has been a great year of not only getting our own people out, but getting other people here to the state who will hopefully become return visitors. So again, I've said this a couple of times, but I want to say it again to this group. West Virginia is the envy of so many other states tourism offices right now. Not only are we getting infrastructure development, we had over this hundred million dollars in investment into these parks, but we've also tripled our advertising budget over the last couple of years. So if you look at this, the investment is amazing. The results we're seeing are amazing. And Governor, like always, I want to thank you on behalf of those 45,000 people who work in the travel and tourism industry in West Virginia. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you from all these folks who live here and are getting out and enjoying the parks. And thanks to the staff here. You guys do a great job. I know I'm out here a lot. The park is always impeccable. The foundation's one of the strongest foundations. So to everybody, thank you so much. Hey, Governor, let me tell you what you're sitting in front of here. This is a building that we repurposed. Um, this time last year, a little before that, our, our, canal, our park office was down. You, you pass it on your left when you come in. And our gift shop was smaller than that van right there. So we repurposed this room. We have a beautiful gift shop now. We have a place where people can get sodas, they can get snacks. And by springtime, this will be our nature center. We will, that will be a, a museum and nature center. You can go in there and you can, you can see historical artifacts from when this was a, a, a timbering camp. And we're, we've, we've gotten with wildlife. We're going to try to get um, taxidermy animals of all the different types of wildlife that are here in, in, in the park. And it's just, it's just one of many, many things. There are 25 different projects that are currently either completed or, or under construction. But this facility is beautiful. And again, I know, Chelsea, I want to thank our staff because they did all this themselves. You know, they, they, they got their staff out and they worked on this. And it's just, it's just a beautiful. And, and, and there's West Virginia products in here, West Virginia-made, homegrown products we, we feature in, in all of our parks. So it's, uh, it's been a really nice, nice project, and we're really, really proud of it. And it, and it has become, you can see, it's become the epicenter of the park now. I mean, this is, this is where everybody comes, and it's, uh, we're, we're working on, on improved Wi-Fi, as Jordan asked me when, when, when he got here. Uh, but, but we're doing a lot of things here at the park, and I think all the people, not just of Kanawha County, but surrounding here, will be very, very proud of this facility when, when we are, are complete. So with that, um, that's all we had today. <laughs>